12 laps the distance, top four qualify, green flag in the air and we're underway. Grab is Benjamin now in car number 17, gets the jump to the outside of Richie Dearborn, down the back straightaway, give the lead to the 17 of Benjamin. Dearborn trying to settle into the second spot, but Matt Fromm in car number 14 and trying to work to the outside of Dearborn. Fourth and final qualifier at the moment is car number 96, Ellsworth, main driver White Alexander. Up front, Travis Benjamin is into the show. Now he's trying to run away from the rest of the field. Richie Dearborn continues to run second, then it's Graham in the 14 now. Battle for the final transfer spot now. Mike Landry in car number 20 trying to get by Alexander in the 96. Battle for second now. Looks like Matt Robb trying to go to the outside of Richie Dearborn for the second spot. Keep an eye from the battle from second on back. The best battle on the racetrack is for the second spot at the moment. Matt Fromm with the 14 up going to the outside of Richie Dearborn. Up front, Travis Benjamin continues to put distance between himself and that battle for second. Every lap, Fram gets more and more closer to getting around the 33 of Dearborn. Dearborn doing a nice job on the inside, giving Fram enough room to work the outside groove here at the Star Speedway. Second spot at the line was Richie Dearborn by a month recover. Now, battle for the final transfer spot. Mike Landry slides underneath Wyatt Alexander. Give the final transfer spot to Oakland main driver Mike Landry. This time by halfway home, six down, six to go. Rear leader, Travis Benjamin. Benjamin has a substantial lead on the battle for second. Now give the second spot to the 14 of Matt Fromm. Dearborn slides into the third spot. Mike Landry is right there in the fourth spot. Landry is into the show with Ryder McClay. Now Kelly Moore is trying to reel in Landry. Kelly Moore is not into the show. The 35 of Derek Ramstrom is not into the show. Heavy hitter is not into the show just yet. Trying to catch up to the 20 of Mike Landry. Landry now watching way up the racetrack down the front straightaway. Landry almost got into the front stretch wall that time. That allows Kelly Moore in the 47 and Ramstrom in the 35 to get right to his rear bumper. Up front, Moro main driver, Travis Benjamin starting to put some distance between Matt Fromm and second. Fromm doing a nice job, continuing to run second. Then it's Dearborn in the 33. And the final transfer driver is the 20 of Mike Landry. This time by two laps remain for car number 17, Travis Benjamin. Benjamin looked a little slow. Now Scott McDaniel in the 14. Looked like he hit the wall in car number 14. Scott McDaniel is going to be able to get off the racetrack. White flag is in the air. Got break for Scott McDaniel in the 14. He'll go home early. Down the back straightaway for the final time. This one was all about two-time Oxford 250 champion. Travis Benjamin, he'll take the checkered flag. Second will go to Matt Fromm. Third will go to Richie Dearborn. And your fourth and final qualifier will be the 20 car. Oakland main driver Mike Landry. So driver is failing to qualify the 47 of Kelly Moore, the 35 of Derek Ramstrom, the 96 of Wyatt Alexander, and the 14 of Scott McDaniel. It looks like McDaniel made some significant contact with the front stretch wall. All right, Chief Starter Shane Carr gives him the one to go signal. Martin Latulip in the 84 on the inside. Joe Squealia in the 03 on the outside. Top four qualified, 12 laps the distance. Latulip in the 84, Squealia in the 03. Shane Carr on the flag stand. Gives him the green flag. Joey Squealia in the 03 gets the jump. Latulip a little slow at the start. That allows the 03 of Joe Squealia to get the jump. Give the lead to Derry, New Hampshire driver, longtime campaigner and star, Joe Squillia in the 03. The tool of the 84 runs second. Then it's Hudson, New Hampshire, Derek Griffith in the 12 car third. The Sousa in the 88 has a final transfer spot. Battle for second now. Derek Griffith in car number 12, fresh off his first career at Granite State Pro Stock Series with a Claremont. Moves into the second spot. Now Latulip got a little out of shape. He washed way up the racetrack. That allows the 88 car of Kyle D'Souza to move into the third spot. Latulip in the 84 now is going to try to have to hang on to the fourth and final chance for a spot. Dave Farrington Jr. in car number 23 is right there. Farrington Jr. from Jay Main, the defending Pro Series champion at the Beat Ridge Motor Speedway, looking for a way by Latulip in car number 84. Up uh, front, look at Joe Squillia now in the 0-3. He's looking to qualify for tonight's TJ Co. Services 150. Squillia trying to run away, but here comes car number 12. Young driver out of Hudson, New Hampshire. Derek Griffin trying to reel in your leader. 
Keep an eye now on the battle for the fourth and final transfer spot. Martin Matalou on a volley junction. Quebec has it. Dave Farrington Jr. in the 23 wants it. Halfway home this time by three leader Joey Squealia. Squealia in the 03 has won many races here at Star as well as many championships in street stocks as well as outlaw sportsmen. Now Squealia is trying to nail down his first ever Pro All Star Series victory in the 03. Derek Griffin in the LCM Racing 12 sits second. D'Souza third in the 88. La Tulip still hanging on to the final transfer spot. Barrington Jr. in the 23 is unable to catch up to the 84. Latalouk Latalouk has the power down the straightaway. Looks like the 23 of Barrington might be a little better through the corners. Up front now, Derek Griffin in the 12 car is right on the rear bumper of Joey Squealia at the top spot. Now Rafael Lassard in the 71 showing some smoke. Out of car number 71, Lassard now is around on the front straightaway. Rafael Lassard in car number 71 is around and the caution flag will fly. Looks like he might have got some of the front stretch wall as well in car number 71. White wall, the tires just a bit. Lassard all the way from St. Joseph, Quebec. Having some trouble maneuvering car number 71 around the Star Speedway here. All right, this time by lights are off in the pace car. Joe Squealy in the 03. Derek Griffith in the 12. Second row, D'Souza on the inside of the 88. Keep an eye on the 84 of Latulip. Latulip's gonna have to fight from the outside groove to stay in the final transfer spot for tonight's TJ Co Service in 150. Green flag set to fly. Green flag back in the air. We're back in the way. Squealy, I got the jump on the start. Now the battle for the final transfer spot. Dave Farrington Jr. in the 23. Latulip and into the fourth squad. Latulip trying to fight back on the outside. Keep an eye for this one. Two laps to go for your leader Squealia. Now Latulip over driving the 84 car. Loses that position. Sole possession of the final transfer spot is the 23 main of Dave Farrington Jr. White flag this time by. One more trip around for your leader there. He's answered Joe Squealia. Into turn one and two. Out of turn two. Down the back straight away for the final time. Coming to the checkered flag, Pro All-Star Series consolation round. Number two, gonna go to Joe Squealia. Second will go to Griffin, third to D'Souza. And your fourth and final qualifier for tonight's TJ Co-Services 150 will be Jay Maines, Dave Farrington Jr. in car number 23. So a nice job for a couple of the familiar faces here at the Star Speedway, the 03 of Joe Squealia and the 12 of Derek Griffith. They finish 1-2, then D'Souza in the 88 in Defending Pro Series champion at the Beach Ridge Motor Speedway, Dave Farrington Jr. Rounds out the field. There's the bald bandit, the flagman of the Hudson International Speedway is in the house, Steve Grand. Don't forget, just a couple weeks at the Hudson Speedway, May 17th.